Arnold Rios is a Purple Heart Vietnam veteran and a passionate member of this community. In fact, we're here at Fuego's Tacos, one of his favorite places to go in town. And they say that they love every time he comes to visit. I'm Veronica Morley, your neighborhood reporter in Bakersfield. And we've now learned that Rios was one of the three men hit when an alleged drunk driver rammed into a crowd awaiting the Bakersfield Christmas Parade. My dad, he's a hero. He is incredibly like heroic in every way. A hero to his family, not only for his service as a veteran and grandfather, Arnold Rios, his daughter, sharing that he was struck at the Christmas parade as he rushed to move his wife out of harm's way. Since the accident, um, he has been able to recall what happened and um, He's slowly recovering. His family saying that act of selflessness was just like him. Following his service, he spent years as an LAPD detective and investigator for the Kern County District Attorney's Office. After his retirement, he volunteered with the United Farm Workers, teaching English in Wasco, spending his free time playing with his grandchildren, caring for his wife, and getting to know those in his community. He can conversate with me, my daughter, anyone. He's just such a lovable guy. Now the 77 year old is in critical condition with fractures in both legs, his skull and recovering from a brain bleed. It's horrific to, it's to horrific. Yeah. I really have to, I can't visualize it too much. It, it's too horrific. Around a half hour before the parade began, a white Ford 150 came crashing through the road on 21st and H Street. The driver, 72-year-old Alan Booth, was arrested on site with charges of driving under the influence. BPD said there was a report about an intoxicated person in the area, and the investigation is still underway. When it comes to DUI accidents, DUI deaths, and DUI arrests, we are as bad as it gets, and it's an embarrassment, and something needs to change. The law office of Chain, Cone and Clark announcing a civil suit against Booth seeking compensatory and punitive damages. Attorney Matthew Clark saying incidents of drinking and driving overshadow Kern County. According to Bakersfield Police, between October to December of last year, they made 209 DUI arrests. This year, they've already seen an increase with 98 arrests in October and 74 in November. And there's so many ways that people do not need to be drinking and driving. Just think about other people. Think about us. Like, about your own like humanize members. the victims. According to his daughters, Rios regained some consciousness since the crash, but his doctors say it'll be a long recovery. His family by his side every step of the way. And Fuego said they've partnered with other businesses to plan a fundraiser for the victims of the parade crash, and they hope to hold it sometime mid-January. We'll have more details as it gets closer on our website, turn to 23com I'm your neighborhood reporter in Bakersfield, Veronica Morley.